Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today we need a uh, to address a problem with this beautiful plant. It's some sort of crush. I have no idea uh, for this plant, so I'm not going to try. But um, uh, maybe it's a Solotony type. I think some Solotony are crossed with a Promea. Maybe it's one of those. <laughs> but it's very hard to find. But it's uh, a beautiful plant, and like I said, I'm just. Uh, has it I have it listed as a no ID, but I really like the shape of it. If you recognize it, please let me know. I'm always uh, curious to know the original names of the plants. But um, yeah, this one, the blooms are okay, and I must admit that ne I never had so many blooms on it uh, as in uh, uh, as this year. But let me zoom out. I need to address this because this is really a getting a problem. And I need to adjust the camera a little bit, so I'm not trying to make you dizzy, but can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. So, these spots are getting into the bottom of the leaves. Um, at the beginning of the leaves, I should say, into the plant. And we have quite a lot of them. And what we also have, like, uh, for example, this one. You see the discoloration there, it's uh, really starting... Uh, to rot its soft wet tissue. Um, I'm not completely sure what it is. It's a healthy plant. At least it's it's growing, it has its roots. But um, and maybe it's not a healthy plant. Maybe it has a virus or something. I don't know. But uh, what I do know is that I uh, want to address it by cutting off all the infected uh, portions of the, of the plant. So I have my scissors here. I will grab my alcohol quickly. Did forget that. Oh yeah, you guys? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you can hear me now. <laughs> you guys, yes, it's messy in the back. I'm still, uh, we, uh, I'm, I should say, we are still uh, uh, remodeling and renovating the house. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess everywhere in the house. I apologize, but this is the only space that I could found uh, to do this uh, properly. So uh, within a few weeks, this should all in the background should be cleared out. So that's uh, about the background. Um, yeah, I, I only can uh, think of uh, just cutting it off for now and see uh, see if it works. Uh, I will cut it off, I've cut into clean tissue. I think that's how you uh, try to do this. So let's uh, do it like that. This one is going completely. I will leave that so I don't have to... Uh, clean the scissors that often. First I'm gonna grab all of them. Uh, all the leaves where I can cut in clean tissue. Like in this case I cannot uh, cut in clean tissue because it's completely infected. I will do that last because I then have to sanitize constantly my scissors because I don't want something on here and cut in clean tissue if you know what I mean and then it may get into the leaf as, uh, as well or still. So therefore, I'm first grabbing these leaves. I seriously have no idea what it is, but it's, like I said, it, I think it's a type of virus, and I hope I can get it out of the plant like this. You can see, it's really uh, not nice. I will wash my hands after this, obviously. Maybe, 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 I'm not sure, but maybe, it, yeah, that were a lot of maybes, I'm sorry, but maybe, um, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to skip that word, it could have, there we go, it could have spider mites, and probably they left some marks in here, and that is how a virus did get in, maybe, okay, <laughs> continue. You never know, right? At least, I think it's very hard to be completely sure about problems. But the more we deal with them, the more we learn about them, I think. This one, this is a new growth that is rotted. Very strange, I must admit. Strange things are happening. Mm. 
because I don't think these were all uh, old leaves. If it's old leaves, it happens, they start to yellow up and they die off and that's normal for orchids, but this, this were quite a lot. Maybe it's a deficiency, if it's a deficiency you might think it is calcium, I think this is the way calcium can show, but it does get the same treatment as the rest of my orchids and I don't see calcium deficiencies, but you never know. I really think this is a virus of some sort. But, um, like I said, I'm not sure. Yeah, and uh, I, I, I remember that calcium deficiency shows up in the newer growths, if I'm correct. And this is all type of growths. New growths, all the leaves, everything is infected. So therefore, that might be a good indication that this is probably as well uh, it probably is a, uh, a virus. So. You have some here. This one is very yellow as well. It's starting to yellow up. It may not show up on camera, but I see here. Uh, a yellow tinge there in the, in the leaf that I don't trust, so I cut it off. This one as well, no. Maybe, yes. Just to be sure. I will cut it off as well. We have one here. There we go. This new growth rather right off as well. So something is not okay with this plant, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. This is so strange. It's a new growth. Or a new leaf on a new growth, so it shouldn't have this this color. So, and one here. Some old flowers. Um, but you can see, uh, talking about the flowers, we have quite some flowers here. We have even some buds to open up. So that's, that's okay, we have even a flower in here, we have one here. So now I'm going to do this, those whole leaves, I think those are the last ones to cut off. So let's do that. Like this. I see even, uh, I don't think I can show this on camera, quite some beautiful new roots starting there, like nothing is wrong. But that's okay as well. Yeah, I think this is it. So, I, before I forget, I will put some alcohol on my scissors. Let it evaporate. I probably didn't get off everything, but let's have a look. This is what came off the plant. It really is... Uh, something is wrong. If you have any idea, please let me know. I like to... Uh, to know more about the subject, but I, like I said, I, I found it quite a, kind of hard to uh, identify what is going on. What I did see when most people, when something like this happens, is what I just did. Cut into clean tissue, not in an infected tissue, but in clean tissue, cut a part of the leaf off, and thereby trying to get that virus out of the plant. plant. This plant, like I said, it should be, it's kind of healthy, it never had any problems for me. I don't have it extremely long. Let's oh here's the tag. Um, yeah, about uh, I think I did a repot in about uh, one and a half year now. I think so. That's not not very long. Uh, it was already kind of a, a big plant. It had 
And this flower there, but it does, did look in the in the greenhouse in the where I did bought it. But um, yeah, it did took off quite well in this setup. In this greenhouse, it has beautiful uh, flowers, quite a lot of them. But yeah, new growths. This one is infected as well. As you can see, this is the. It really is wet. It's from a new growth. But I didn't uh, spray it or anything. I didn't have water on it. Uh, it's above. Uh, it's on the. Yeah, it's, some shelves are above this plant, but I. Then I should have. Uh, if I have some water falling on it, it probably should have one new growth in some section running off. But not, not, not a whole plant covered in these uh, very uh, dirty leaves. So. Uh, but we will do some updates if you are interested in this. Um, I am, I like to learn uh, and I, I, I hope this is the best approach in this case. Um, yeah, maybe you want to look at the root system quickly. I hope you can see it. It's a very big plant. Let me uh, put this on the sink. Let, uh, I, I will be back. Let's have a look at the root system. But I, I can barely hold it, so <laughs> I will be back. Maybe you noticed it, but I saw some dead roots, so therefore I thought, oh, I need to give this a better look. That's why I was a bit, little bit hesitating, but I thought, yeah, this is better. I'm going to grab it out of its um, outer pot and have it uh, set on here. But I also see new roots here. And I see new roots here, beautiful green ones, and here. So I think it's okay, root wise. I think it's okay. We have beautiful roots there. I see this more in my pots. We, you cannot avoid it. Sometimes you just have old roots that are dying off. We have one here, but we have some dead roots as well. So I will check my reservoir just in case. But uh, like I said, this happens more often with orchids. Uh, of course, they uh, they do change their root system. And um, so that's okay. And I see a lot of new roots going into the media as well. So yeah, that's not, not really the problem. We have some algae roots here, but again, some new ones there. We have some area ones. Let me see. No, I cannot really find, find the spot, but uh, where I did see more uh, new growth, yeah, I think, uh, new roots, I think it's in there. Uh, um, right above my finger, yeah, and I think you can see it now. But anyhow, what I will do, I will measure um, the water in the reservoir. And, um, yeah, there's something in there. Wait a second, what's this? See this? This is a... This is some... Probably some paper or something, I don't know. That is going out, but I will measure it first. But uh, sometimes I forget to forget the stickers underneath um, underneath the pots. And the glue who is, uh, which is on there, I don't know, but it's not that good to have it in your reservoir, probably. And before I forget to mention, I did sanitize my hands, clean my hands. After it, I did uh, cut off the leaves. And get the uh, orchid out of the pot completely. Um, yeah, let's start measuring this up. All right, I have that stuff here. It's but it's uh, 69 now, so that's beautiful. It's not high at all. And I fed my orchids uh, for the last couple of months, at least two, two months, around a uh, hundred parts per million. So this one is really eating. I have to water this one as well uh, twice a week because it uh, likes to drink, it likes to eat, so that's really not a problem. If it was a root problem, I would have now a uh, very hard, uh, yeah, a very high parts per million, at least around 200 or even more. Uh, that's how I recognize when uh, uh, something is off. Sometimes it's the pH, sometimes it's the orchid isn't happy and thereby it doesn't eat. But this one's still eating. It's now 70, but it's around 70. So that's okay. 
uh, will clean this uh, meter up as well. Oh, I have to uh, get the lid off. I don't know if it works with one hand. Yes. <laughs> and put it on. It's very handy, I think. Okay, so let's uh, start measuring up the uh, pH of this uh, water. We do get some readings, but it needs to settle a little bit. So I wiggle a little bit, and then I'm holding it. I hope you can see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's even better, I think. No. But we see now a 6, a 9, and a 1. So 6.9. It's perfect. Perfect. So that's not a problem at all, and I don't know what's that, what that is in my uh, my uh, reservoir. I really don't know, but it's not really causing any problems as far as I can measure. I'm not really like I said. If you have glue in your pots, that's not handy. Even though you may have a low reading, maybe a, a, the parts per million uh, will show up a little bit of that glue on your meters. I have no idea if that even is possible, but I think it is. But, um, and before I forget, I just uh, did clean up the pot, the inner pot, and give this uh, orchid some fresh water because of that strange thing that was uh, crawling around, just in case. And the little flocks you see here are traces of seaweed. I had it standing in, in this bucket, and you can see it settles on the um, bottom of the pot, right? It's a bit dusty, and it starts actually to, to grow again. Probably some seaweed again, but it's okay. I never had problems with this uh, at all. So, uh, but yeah, now you know. Uh, I uh, thought I should mention that in the, in the video. So we go from here. This is the the new start. I hope, and we'll uh, like I said, we will uh, revisit this uh, orchid uh, pretty soon again. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm going to put this one back, and we will uh, re revisit it uh, in a few weeks, I guess. In the meantime, if you have any questions or suggestions, or you may know uh, what the problem is here, please let me know. I would love to hear it. And uh, for now, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.